vlog. There's just like a lot going on that I'm excited to bring you guys along for. Also, some exciting news. I have a new vlogging camera. I'm gonna chat a little bit about that in a bit. It's Saturday, it's around 4 p.m. I'm actually at work. I just finished a shift at my barista job and I just clocked out. But yeah, I just wanted to start this video. Welcome to the vlog, guys. I'm gonna go hop in my Uber because I think it's probably here. Like mentally and physically exhausted when I got back from work but it's a few hours later and I've changed I'm wearing this really cute knit blue dress that I got from Zara it's my first time wearing it and I'm wearing a black turtleneck underneath because it's really chilly in LA tonight so my girlfriend Owen's restaurant is going to be one of the vendors at this event with her restaurant's food and everything so that is the main reason i'm going um but it also just looks like a really fun event in general there's going to be live music and it takes place in the bradbury building which is actually one of the locations from the movie 500 days of summer which is one of my favorite movies personally yeah it was in that ending scene where the main character like goes to the job interview and he meets the girl named autumn i'm going to be arriving way later than i wanted to so i'm gonna get going over like that. What oh, the hell? Good. When did you do that? I thought I'd take off the hat and make you for your vlog. You look so great. Baby. Baby. Yes. Can we go to Taco Bell today? <laughs> yes, we can. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's vlog that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I love this company. I'm They're so excited. Shit. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Your hat is fire. Do you mind being in my vlog? Yeah. Your <laughs> entire style is fire. Always. Okay, we got gifts. <laughs> Very well dressed person. <laughs> yeah, we have oh no idea God. how to open it. What is it? Chili Chris! Fly by Jing Chili Chris! This is like stuff that <laughs> legends are made of. Really? What is that? Yeah. So it's like a savory, crunchy hot sauce that you will find yourself putting on everything. How did you open the box? I know. <laughs> Go in. Here, you open it through there. Oh! <laughs> we did it! And so it's like. Not quite sauce, but it's like a chili oil. Disclaimer, I'm tipsy. Okay, continue. And it's crispy. You can put it on anything. Is it spicy? It's spicy. We should probably put it on our Taco Bell. <laughs> we should, we're gonna put it, that shit on our Taco Just Bell. Just to taste Let's it, see how, see how it tastes. Let's go to Taco Bell and then put it on. We're going to Taco Bell. We're going to Taco Bell. Wait, so my girlfriend sold out. She sold out. Was this your biggest like event that? I'm gonna sell out. <laughs> no, I mean her food. 
food sold out at the event because she's so fire. I need to put on my seatbelt. Going forward, going this forth, is, this, this moment on. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> We're not helping anybody pay attention. This moment on tonight is tipsy, tipsy Shawnee. <laughs> tipsy? Also, since the Broken Bread episode with Roy Troy featuring her restaurant and the Lisa Ling HBO show Takeout featuring her restaurant came out, you had so many fans come up to you. So not, I wouldn't say so many, but people did. It was weird. It was the first event I've done out since these things happened. So adjusting. Oh yeah. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Calibrating. <laughs> I'm way more awkward than I think I was edited to be. <laughs> Thank you, have a good night. Yay, Taco Bell. sit down and chat with you guys about my new vlogging camera yeah so let's talk about it I'm filming this clip on my iPhone so that I can show you guys the camera this is the Sony ZV-1 so many people were calling it like the best vlogging camera of 2021 which is just very exciting also multiple youtubers who I watch and whose videos I've always admired for like how they look and the quality and how their footage looks are all using this camera and I actually didn't realize a few of them were also using this camera yeah this is my new vlogging camera I usually film my sit down videos with my Canon DSLR camera it's a Canon Rebel T3i and then I usually film my vlogs with a mix of cameras so I film most clips with my old vlog camera which was a Canon PowerShot 110HS I think which I've had since like 2014 and I got that camera because um, I don't know if you guys know of It's Judy's Life on YouTube. I remember getting it because it was the camera she used at the time and I loved her videos and she was just like a professional vlogger so I was like let me just get the camera she has. I use a mix of like that Canon vlogging camera, my iPhone, like maybe when I want to be more inconspicuous in public places and then I also use my DSLR so I use a mix of those three cameras when I film vlogs the main problem with my old vlogging camera the Canon is as you guys know because I'm always talking about it or I edit it out a lot when I mention this but sometimes I mention in the vlog how it really has trouble focusing like that was the main problem with that camera I did really love the quality of the footage that that vlog camera got me the problem was I just had a problem focusing and that's really frustrating like to have to constantly deal with that and also it was getting outdated um, I got that camera back in 2014 and that's a really long time ago if you think about it like to be using the same uh, version of a vlogging camera anyway this camera was actually a gift it was a gift from my girlfriend and I did want to mention that and share that with you guys but yeah I'm very 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 excited for the future of my vlogs and the videos that I'm gonna make using this camera you guys are gonna have to be a little bit patient with me um, because there is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve with this camera it is just capable of doing so much I've been watching videos, doing research, trying to learn about it. There's so many informational videos on this camera on YouTube, so that's how I've mainly been doing research because uh, there's so much to learn. This camera is capable of so much. I think it was pretty much designed specifically for vloggers, which, you know, camera companies weren't really doing that like 10 years ago or like a few years ago, and now they are because content creating is like taken more seriously now. And so it has like microphones in the place where you would want them. It came with a wind muffler that I don't have on right now. The record button is like where the button would normally be to just take a photo. It has a screen that flips out so when I'm filming myself, which I will usually be doing when I'm vlogging, I can actually see what I'm recording which my other vlog camera did not have that feature. The iPhone doesn't have that feature. The DSLR does, but the DSLR is not good for vlogging for many reasons. For one, image stability, for one, and then also not good sound quality if you're using the 
internal mic. I love that it has this flip out screen and then it flips around or you can do this if you want to just like protect the screen when you're not using it. It has like advanced focusing technology and you can set what kind of focus you want to do like wide focus, only focus on your face or like blurred background. I'm just very excited. Um, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys about my new vlogging camera, the Sony ZV-1. I'm so happy and I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm trying to fit a few things in today. I'm going to film a sit down video for the channel and you guys can see a little bit behind the scenes of that. I'm going to try and do it pretty quickly because I have to go. I have to COVID test today for a shoot that I'm doing on Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, this is my old vlogging camera, by the way. Anyway, I'm gonna use it right now because I'm gonna actually try filming a sit down video with my new Sony camera. So yeah, let's do it. This is a reaction video, so I'm gonna watch the video I'm reacting to on my laptop. I'm gonna look at my notes on my phone. I'm just gonna get this camera all set up on the tripod. I auditioned for Disney's new Cheaper by the Dozen remake movie. Okay, I'm all done filming my sit down video. So I'm back to vlogging with the Sony camera. So the video I just filmed, if you're curious, it's me sharing my Cheaper by the Dozen audition. I'm sharing the audition and reacting to it in that video. And so yeah, I changed and I have to get going. I have to go to this COVID test appointment all the way across town. I'm currently in Hollywood. I have to go to Culver City. I'm thinking I'm gonna pull off the big jacket, big jacket I bought last year from ASOS after the coldest shoot of my life. So this jacket, it's so long. I had to pull this out for a shoot a couple weeks ago because it was absolutely freezing in LA during the day and it was windy. Actually, LA's weather has been all over the place. Two weeks ago, we had a cold front. Last week, it was hot, like really hot, like in the late 80s all week. But anyway, right now we're in a cold front again. I'm gonna be taking the train and I just wanna be warm. So I think I'm pulling out the big jacket. Let me show you guys what I mean when I say big. See what I'm talking about? It's basically like wearing a sleeping bag. That's kind of what it feels like and I love it. But yeah, let's go to my COVID test. So I got off of my first bus and I'm waiting for my connection bus to Culver City and it happens to be at the creepiest bus stop known to man. There is literally a cemetery across the street. It looks brighter on camera than it does in real life. I'm trying not to look at it. I'm thoroughly creeped out, but luckily the bus is coming in like three minutes. Random, but I worked background many, many days on that show. And I included one of the shoot days in one of my work week in my life vlogs that I will put a card for right here. To be honest with you guys, and don't tell anyone I said this, but it was actually a terrible set to work on as a background artist, but I'm sure it's gonna be an amazing show. And when I say terrible set to work on, I mean every single background person who worked on that show hated it. And that is so not the case for every background job or every set. Like some sets are an amazing experience for many different reasons. That one was not. <laughs> and I could get into why, but really that would take me forever. Anyway, I'm all done with my COVID test and now I'm headed home. and I'm really hungry so I'm gonna grab a pizza from my building's cafe and I'm gonna have that for dinner. My girlfriend's doing laundry and when she's done she's gonna come pick me up and I get to see her and I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. 